I know that there is uh, some something new on the horizon for you uh, that you wanted to share tonight for the first time, and we're honored that you chose our little show to do so. So yes. this is addressing conflict of interest by the Secretary of State. Can you um, explain yes. what this is and how it came about? Yeah, I'm going to be proposing a constitutional amendment here in California to deal with conflicts of interest. And the way to set it up is we think about Florida. When the Florida election was stolen in 2000, the Secretary of State, Catherine Harris, was the campaign manager for George Bush in the oh, election gosh. that she ran that George Bush competed. The same thing in 2004 in Ohio, Kenneth Blackwell, the Secretary of State, was the campaign manager for George Bush again. In both states, the elections were questioned in the Senate. I mean, there was debates about whether there was there were valid results. So now we moved to 2016 in California, and we had a contested Democratic primary, deeply contested. And there were many, many people who were Bernie Sanders supporters who felt there was not sufficient education done for people to understand that if you were a no party preference voter, in other words, not in a party, you had the opportunity to vote in the Democratic primary, but only if you asked for a Democratic Party ballot. And there were many reports around the state that that information wasn't communicated clearly. Mm -hmm. That communication is the responsibility of the Secretary of State, and our Secretary of State at that time had publicly endorsed Hillary Clinton and had campaigned for her in Nevada. So the perception of a conflict, I'm not saying this was the same thing that happened in Florida in 2000, far from it, but the perception of a conflict of interest is something that we do not want to have. So what I am proposing is that no secretary of state may endorse, support, or oppose any candidate or ballot measure in California when they are secretary of state. Number two, they can't make a financial contribution. And three, they can't be a member of those campaigns. It just seems to me this is a baseline, a yeah. baseline of a lack of conflict of interest. Because conflict of interest is not only financial, it's also political. So this is a constitutional amendment that you are that you are yes so, and, 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 and where what, what stage of that are you and how are you doing that well i'm now that i've announced it on your program and, yeah. and thank you for the opportunity i am going to be sending it to the uh, state assembly and state senate elections committees mm -hmm. and ask some of their members to sponsor it mm -hmm. and get it on the ballot and i would hope that our secretary of state would support it now the irony was that i was going to come out publicly and pledge, and I will pledge right now, that I will not endorse in any race over which I would have any jurisdiction here. So frankly, I'm not going to endorse in any race in California in 2018. And I was going to ask that all other candidates in the race would take that same pledge, including our existing Secretary of State. He has already endorsed as of November in the governor's race. I couldn't believe it. Before I could even get out and ask for this pledge, mm -hmm. um, and, and I just don't think that's okay. And I don't think most voters support that either. No, I would think not. What can people do if they want to support you in this? I mean, so, they... so the, the state Senate elections committee, the uh, state assembly elections committee, you can go to the internet. Uh, you can just put it in your browser and look them up. They have a mm -hmm. staff member for each of them. Mm -hmm. You write to the staff member and say, I think that your committee should take up this issue. And on my campaign site, Mm -hmm. Feinstein for SOS.org slash issues. There's a link there to the specific text that I'm recommending. I'm going to be emailing it myself to those committees. So anybody who wants to go to my campaign site could find that link and then communicate to the state legislature. And let's get this dialogue going.